spreading the word of God, brother. We ain't trying to hear no madness, no foolishness, no Christianity. Don't come with the white man's doctrine. We don't want to hear that. We spreading the word of God. Because we reading the Bible. Who, who, who is God for? The Bible. Who, who, is, who is he for? He for the Israelites, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. No, no, white no white, not one white person on the earth. God is for. So you don't read the New Testament? Yeah, we read the New Testament. Show me, show me in the New Testament where, show me in the New Testament where God is for somebody else. Let's get there. No Jew, no Greek. Let's get there. Which, 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 you know what scripture you want? We gonna read it. We gonna read it. We gonna read it. So the Bible is bullshit. That's what we talking about. That's what we we're reading the Bible. That's what we're reading. Don't you see us reading? Don't you see the Bible in his hand? That's where we are going. So why he say no male, no male? Let's read it. Let's read it. Read that. We we're going to explain. The white people is the Greek, right? No, not at all. Have you ever heard of Hellenization? Hey, hey, get get the Zondervan. That's we're gonna read it. Get somebody Galatians. give me the Zondervan. Galatians chapter 3 and verse 28. Come on. There is neither Jew nor Greek. Who, who is this Greek? Like you said, who is this Greek? Let's get Maccabees. Who is the Greek? We're gonna we, we about to find out. Because the Bible must be read precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little. We, we about to get it, right? Yes. But is that who he talking about? Let's see. First Maccabees chapter one verse um, eleven. First Maccabees one and eleven. Verse let's, see, let's see who the Greek is. First Maccabees chapter one and verse eleven. Come on. In those days went there out of Israel. So in those in, in those days, matter of fact, read verse one because that's 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 what he's talking about. Read verse one. And it happened don't, after don't that Alexander, Alexander said the son. Where, where you going? Where you going? You got out the car. Where, where, where did that? Why, why all the animosity? Where you going? Don't leave. Oh, the, oh, the white woman you came to save, she left. Sim, 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 Sim. Hey, you see, that's what be going on. We ready to stick up for the white woman. The white woman pulled off on it. Matter of fact, give me that in Sirach 26, 21. That's what happened when you in the midst of sin, brother. You got to flee from a damn white woman. Pork, the other white meat. I know, I know we love Becky with the good hair. But God said you gotta sow your seed with the race of your own damn people. Right. Read that. Sirach, chapter 26 and verse 21. Come on. So thy race which thou leavest shall be magnified. Hey, listen to that, brother. Listen, listen, listen to the Bible. Listen to the Bible, cause, cause all people keep coming up for saying, Oh, race ain't in the Bible. It ain't about race. Listen to what God said in the Bible. Our people hate the Bible. This brother got out the car, puffed up in the chest, all type of animosity, because we reading the Bible. Was white people bucking up against other white people when they had our people in oppression like this? Are they doing that today? Hell no. They don't care about no damn nigga or no damn Hispanic. They like to hell with them niggas. When they stand up, like you said, when they when they rushed the White House, it wasn't because George Floyd was killed in cold blood. It was because they felt something was going wrong with white people. Right. It was, but it. it but that's what I'm saying. It was white on white issue. They were saying we got to keep them in subjection. But I'm saying, where is the white man? When, when has the white man stood up against other white people on the affliction that they putting on us, the oppression that they giving to us? It's not happening. But when we read the Bible, yeah, go hang and go hang a nigga. Picnic, pick a nigga. They a pick a nigga. That's what the Bible, that's what Habakkuk said. The spirit that is in them is not upright. But our people today, drunk with the philosophy of the white woman, Becky with the good her, he hop out the car, chest puffed out. What y'all teaching? Hey. Why y'all teaching? Hey, she knows the damn truth. That's why she drove off and left his simple ass. He tried to, he tried to her. Yeah, and she don't give a damn because she knows the truth. She got that nigga under the spell. She know it's true. Yeah, and she pulled right off. He gonna be famous. We putting that nigga right on YouTube. Read that. 
The Rock, chapter 26 and verse 19. Come on, bring it My up. son, keep the flower of thine age sound. God and said we got to keep the flower of our age sound, meaning when we got to reproduce with a woman, that woman needs to be a black or Hispanic, an Israelite. First. We need to make Israelite on Israelite marriage. That's upright in the eyes of God. Right. And give not thy strength to strangers. God said don't give that strength. Because remember, we read in Genesis 25, one people going to be stronger than the other. He said that strength that I gave you naturally, also the word of God. Don't give that strength to the other nations. Read. When thou hast gotten a fruitful possession Come on. through all the field, sow it with thine own seed. He said do what? Sow it with thine own seed. He said when you get a beautiful Israelite woman, black or Hispanic or Native American, the Israelites, when you get one of these sisters, you impregnate that woman, woman with your seed. He said don't give your strength to the white woman. Don't give your strength to the damn Chinese woman. The dogs and the dog eaters. He said, don't give your strength to them. They are beneath you. Read. Sow it with thine own seed. Come on. Trusting in the goodness of thy stock. He said, trust in the goodness of your stock. Your stock going to your lineage or your race. Read. So thy race, which thou leavest. He said, yo what? Thy race. Your race, your nationality, your people. Free shall be magnified. He said we magnify our race by marrying within our race. God is against interracial marriage. Hey. That is abominable to God. This brother come out the damn car sticking up for Becky with the good damn hair. And guess what? If it's if it's simple ass don't oh uh, yeah, she left him. Make that nigga walk. She hit the horn two times. Come on, nigga. That nigga didn't come. She drove off and slammed the door. He I'm gone. To, he yeah, he, yeah, he tried to defend her. That nigga is a simp. The black man is a simp today. That's what's going on. He he's sipping for the damn white woman. Sipping for the white woman. We're gonna bring up the next teacher, Middle Israel. All right, there is no salvation for Esau. Read that. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 16. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person right. as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. The so-called white man sold his birthright for one morsel of meat. That bloody meat. That bloody meat that they love to eat when they go to, uh, to the steakhouse. When they on the food network and it's still bleeding. That's what they like to eat. But we want to come out here and try to save the so-called white man. Everything that they do is contrary to the laws of God. Read it again. Lest there be any fornicator. Fornicator. They into all kind of fornication and wickedness. But we want to, but they walking around talking about they God's people. They in all kind of fornication and wickedness. Homosexuality. Men with men. Women with women. They the ones who push that in the earth. The LGBT. And all the other alphabets. They the ones who push that. Read. Or a profane person. Esau is a profane person in the earth. Everything that they do and teach goes against the laws of God. Read. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person. Fornicator or what? Profane person. Profane person. Read. As Esau. As Esau. Esau, the so-called white man, is that profane person, read, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. He sold his birthright, read, for ye know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. God says he was rejected. There is no salvation for the so-called white man. Yes, Ray. There is no salvation. Give me Matthew 15, 24. Let's see. Oh, read. Yeah. oh go ahead. Finish it. For he found no place of repentance. The Bible says he found no place of repentance. Read it again. For he found no place of repentance. God says there is no repentance for Esau. Right. Edom. No repentance. Though he sought it carefully with tears. So I don't care how many hallelujahs they throw up. I don't care how many tears they shed. I don't care how many times they get on their knees and pray. Read that part again. Though he sought it carefully with tears. Uh -huh. Though he sought it carefully with tears, there is no repentance for Esau. Right. 
No repentance. That's what the Bible says. Now give me give me Romans 9 real quick. Sure. Give me Romans 9. Romans chapter 9 and verse 13. Yeah. As it is written. As it is written. Read. Jacob have I loved. Jacob have I loved. That's the 12 tribes of Israel. Read. But Esau. But who? Esau. Esau, the so-called white man. Read. Have I hated. God says he hates Esau. He hates Esau. That's what the Bible says. Read. Jesus. What shall we say then? Uh -huh. Is there unrighteousness with God? So because God loves Jacob and he hates Esau, is there unrighteousness with God? Is, 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 there, is God unrighteous? Read. God forbid. God forbid me to know. Read. For he saith to Moses, uh -huh. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. God says he's going to have mercy on whom he wants to uh, send mercy on. God is the one who made the decision that Israel would be his chosen people in the earth and that the so-called white man would be the devil in the earth. Read. And I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So the Bible contradicts Christianity. Right. It goes against the democracy that's being taught in these Christian churches. You know. That God loves everybody. That everybody is one people. That's what America pushes. That works in favor for the so-called white man because he doesn't have to pay for his crimes in the earth. He doesn't have to pay for the evils that he's done against God's chosen people, the 12 tribes of Israel. Bring it out. But you what, read that part again. What shall, oh excuse me. I will have compassion. And I will have compassion uh -huh. on whom I will have compassion. You can't change the words of God. You can't make God change his mind and have compassion on, who, on everybody. He said he's only going to have compassion on whom he wants to have compassion on. Right. I don't care what your doctrine says. I don't care what uh, uh, Caesar Borgia says. It's all about what thus saith the Lord. Read. So then it is not of him that willeth. It's not of him that willeth. Nor of him that runneth. It's not of him that will it or he that run it. But of God. But that, of God. That showeth mercy. Of God that shows mercy. I don't care how many prayers they sent up. Right. Or how many times they come out here and they they uh they got prayer booths and, 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 and all these other wicked things that they try to portray to show themselves uh to oh. make themselves holy in the in, in the eyes of man. Right. God says they're the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. Give me in Thessalonians. Let's go to Thessalonians real quick. The second Thessalonians? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's what I want. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 3. Read. Let no man deceive you by any means. God says, let no man deceive you by any means. Who is who's who's deceiving our people in the earth? Who's on the TBN network? Preaching God love everybody. Who's in the semin in the seminaries uh, telling our people that that, uh, that salvation is for all? Who's running this earth? Read that part again. Let no man deceive you by it any says, means. Let no man deceive you. Meaning that there's a people in the earth that's deceiving God's people. Read. For that day shall not come, uh -huh. except there coming a fall. Ex excuse me. Except there come a falling away first. That falling away is in 70 A.D. when our people were scattered across the four corners of the earth. When we went into captivity and slavery at the hands of our oppressors and those that hate us. Read. And that the man of sin be the, revealed. The, uh, who? And that man of sin. Be revealed. No, the spirit of sin. That man of sin be revealed. That man of sin be revealed. The man of sin is being revealed right now. Right. The truth is being spread in the earth right now. Read. And that man of sin be revealed. Uh -huh. The son of perdition. The son of perdition. Uh, we read that part again. The son of perdition. The son of perdition meaning destruction. Read. 
who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God. Because when you go into these Christian churches, what do you see? You see white Jesus on the walls. You see, when you, when you look at these movies that they come out with, Christ is not black like the Bible says. He's white with long, stringy dog hair. Read that part again. Who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God. Who exalts himself and opposes everything that God says in the Bible that's true. Who lifts themselves up today in the earth as Christ, as God. Right. Africa is black as can be, but they will sit here and lie and have passion of the Christ. Uh, uh, Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. You got Charlton Heston walking around with a with a beard on, talking about he Moses. Those are lies. Right. That's the so-called white man opposing everything that's in the Bible. Read. Or that is worship, so that he as God, he as God, he as God. Read. Sitteth in the temple of God. Oh man, he's sitting in the temple of God calling himself God. Three. Showing himself that he is God. Oh man, the so-called white man is the devil in the earth. That's what the Bible says. Right. Give me Matthew 15, 24. <clears throat> this, this is who salvation is for according to the scriptures. Read. Matthew chapter 15 and verse 24. Read, read. It out. But he answered and said. Who is this speaking? This is Christ, the black Messiah speaking. Read. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Christ said he only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. Who are the lost sheep? The Israelites, the 12 tribes scattered worldwide. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.